This is Daniel Gafon for Eat Sleep Boxing Repeat in Manchester for the press conference for Joe Joyce versus Joseph Parker this Saturday. I'm joined by a steam trainer that seems to be always introduced these days, Joe Gallagher. Joe, we'll go on to your fighter first, Mark Heffron in there. And I don't think it'd be unfair to say a stay busy fight. We're expecting, as all Argentinians are, as opponent to come and have a go. Uh, what are you expecting to Mark to take from Saturday night? Well, first of all, listen, he, he had, had a great win. He went into the British Champions back garden, beat Lennox Clark, and it was good to get him keep the momentum going so it's good that Frank and George could put him on this huge show here in Manchester and it's a bit like a, a coming home uh, celebration for Mark. It's a shame we couldn't get defence of the British Commonwealth or Intercontinental but the main thing is that he's fighting and that momentum keeps going. Like a footballer when you're in a good run of form and you're scoring goals, that's what you want to do. You want to be out and kept active so Mark Heffern fights Saturday night, gets a good win and hopefully we'll have him out again before Christmas and uh, I said to him to take it all in. He was on the top table today and Soak it all up because who knows a year from now we could be back here and Mark Heffern could be top in the bill or chief support to a huge fight. When a fighter wins a British title, um, there's always a sort of debate whether they'll go on to defend it three times and win about right or push on to that European and eventually go on to world level. As you've been about boxing a long time, have you any inklings as to what route Mark will take or what route well, you'd prefer him to take? Yeah, no, Mark, this is 30 years of age. I feel he's in the peak of his career. I feel Mark, in the short window that he's got here now, He's in the prime of his career, he's got to go. He's got to go and defend the challenge European, world title eliminators and world title. There's a 4-5 fight plan that me, Mark, his manager Kevin, Frank have spoke about and hopefully that'll lead him to a world title opportunity over the next 12-18 months. Uh, Jack Collins, a name that's sort of been rumoured about the trade, is that a fight you're interested in? No, not at all. Uh, Jack Collins, he's fought for European, got beat. Jack Collins becomes mandatory for the British title, of course you got to fight him, but we're, we're, we're past that stage now, we're British and Commonwealth and Jack's just with boss to a European so... You mentioned that European that's currently held by Sadio, is that a fight you're more sort of targeting? Yeah, no, that's a fight that we're looking at as well, Sadio. There's big fights out there for Mark Efren, like I say, he's a big puncher, got a killer smile and uh, that's it, he's moving forward. Uh, just get your thoughts on the, the top of the building, like Joe Joyce versus Joe Parker, a great heavyweight fight. Um, it would be hard to imagine not being an entertaining fight. What way do you lean? You know, what way does your your brain tell you that it's the wrong? Well, early on, for like you say, when you listen to Andy Lee up there talking today for boxing skill set, hand speed, everything else. It's sort of like our favour, Joe Joseph Parker. You've seen the way that he improved from Chisora one to Chisora two. But then when you come into the company, of Joe Joyce, and you see him, the size of him, you think that's a hard man to keep off for twelve rounds. And um, at some point, Joe Joyce has got a toucher. And whether it's your chin, your arm, your elbow, he's got to have an effect. How Joe reacts to that is what remains to be seen, but I'm half leaning towards Joe Joyce now. But ask me tomorrow, I must well say Joe Parker again. It, it's, that, it's got me that way. Well, that's one of the best you know, attributes a fight can have that you sort of change your mind constantly. Just get your thoughts on a couple other things. Uh, it's gone a bit quiet with regards to Tyson Fury, uh, Anthony Joshua, and um, sort of will it, won't it, back and forth. And you hear one day a contract's being sent and Joshua's not agreed to all the terms. Does your gut tell you this fight happens? Um, Joe, you'd love it to happen. It'd be a great British uh, Christmas present for British boxing, wouldn't it? Um, like anything, I think we're, we're all in agreement that all the bullet points are agreed, a venue, a date, a money, a purse split and everything else. It's it's the rest of it, it's, it's the meaty part of a contract, what the discussions will be going on at the moment. Tyson Fury wants to fight, AJ has shown an appetite for wanting that fight. So it's like anything, both fighters want to fight, no fighter does not want to fight anyone, but the terms and conditions have to be right and it's down to the teams in the background to, to, to make that fight happen at the moment. So uh, no one's heard anything and talks are ongoing. Uh, things after uh, Josh's most recent loss to Usyk, he's been written off by not by necessarily people in boxing, but sort of large swathes of the sort of casual fans. Uh, I've seen a quote from David Hay where he's saying he gives Josh a lot more of a chance than a lot of people are. Uh, how do you rate Anthony Josh's chances in that fight if it was to happen? Against who? Fury. Listen, because a tall upright, good jab, good right hand. Tyson Fury, yeah, he will do, give him problems. He's got to get past the jab and everything else, but. You see, with Deontay Wilder, uh, the height of him, how Tyson dealt with it. I, I just think Tyson's mobility, his speed. Tyson's got a boxing IQ that is just natural. He's learned and added to it, but it's just natural. It's just a natural in there. Some people you have to train to be that good. He's just a natural Tyson Fury. He may cause him more problems than Dylan White did uh, and other fighters. Um, and when someone like Anthony Joshua does carry that, punch power of course he's always in the fight but you've got to go with Tyson Fury the, 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 the better technician the better boxer and the better IQ uh, Joe really appreciate a few minutes of your time and I'll take up any more day enjoy the fight week no to week no problem cheers thank you mate cheers. no problem thank you mate